Hey, welcome back to another day. It is another day. A Thursday. It's a Thursday. Shit, yeah. sweetie. It's out coming. Really? Yeah. Ridiculous. It's okay. Versus paranormal activity, ghost. Dimension? Dementia. Dementia or dementia. Or whatever. It's dimension. Dementia would okay. be a pretty good move too, though, like, but that's dimension. So, it happens, let's see, after four? I, I don't know. Uh, I would say, I'm not sure, I'm guessing, I don't know, the marked one's the fifth one. Which I know there, it was kind of like a spinoff, but not really. Uh, I, I'm, I don't know when that took place in the timeline. I'm, the timeline's very fuzzy to me. I know it kind of like works backwards and then forwards. And I don't know. So, these new family. They have a flat screen TV, so it has to be today, I guess. Okay. So. These... New peoples move into the paranormal house. No? They move into the house? Yeah. Is it the house from the first one? Yeah, I think so. Okay, never mind. So, so. they, the two brothers. And they have a a pension for recording shit. Like, seriously, that's like a requirement. Every time this this ghost attacks somebody, they have a knack for recording shit. You ever notice that? Yeah. They always gotta have a camera in their hand. Go ahead, sorry. So, anyways. So, the two brothers, they find the tapes, they watch it, and then they start talking, and like, the ghost, the, pe- the kids, like, there's someone else in the room, and she's like, what's your name, and, yeah. Yeah. So, she's like, you're brothers, she's like, we're brothers, and she's like, brothers, and then the daughter comes in, and she's like, can't sleep, and... Yeah, and then the girl, their daughter, daughter, yeah. It's taking you like 10 seconds to get through this one sentence. Oh my god. Okay, the daughter is like in the bathroom saying Bloody Mary backwards. You just missed the whole sneeze part. Where she's sneezing and the little girls on the camera go, bless you. Oh yeah. yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Bloody yeah. Mary. So then Toby wants to take her away. Yeah. He has a very begoolness to him where he wants to like just steal your children, I guess. So. Yeah. Right. I liked it. Yeah. I liked the trailer. I think it's pretty good. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I'm a fan of the franchise. I haven't seen them all. Uh, I haven't seen two. And I haven't seen five. Or the marked ones. I haven't seen two and four. We have four. You've seen four. Uh, I haven't seen two. You haven't seen five either. Because we've been yeah. together since five been out. And I know you haven't seen because I haven't seen it. I haven't seen two. So. I know you haven't. Oh, my God. Anyways, uh, but I'm a, I'm a fan of the franchise. I know it gets a lot of shit. It is one of those movies where I, I was kind of hoping for I haven't seen the marked ones. I don't, I don't think it is. I kind of wish that they would they would break away from found footage and shoot more traditional. I mean, you can still have that found... Like, Insidious kind of that where it was... Clearly, it was not found footage, but it had almost a found footage style. Like, the camera, the way they worked the camera, it was almost found footage, even though, you know, it was a found footage movie. And I, I like that. And I feel like they could have done eternal activity. I kept waiting for them to break away from that. Because seriously, every fucker that moves into this house has an urge to pick up a camera and just start filming shit. Really? Really? Every fucking time? Like, I can understand maybe three movies of people who are just constantly obsessed with taping shit. But this is a sixth one, and we're still having like people who just have cameras. Like, what if, what, what if we would have moved in there? Well, I guess we have a camera, though, don't we? Fuck. Yeah. But we won't film everything. We film our little shows, and that's it. Yeah. So, like, if we was in Paranormal Activity 7, it would just basically be clips of us. And that's just it. Like, even if it, we're just half of them, it's like, yeah, we're moving. It would just be clips of our show. It wouldn't be, like, me brush my teeth and... Talking to you and all that. No, it would just be like, move fam here. Oh shit, something moved behind me. It's a ghost. I quit. Just saying, like, what happens when a family moves in? They don't even have a camera. Who don't even own a camera? They go out and buy one. I guess. They're just like, I got, I got an urge to buy a camera. I start filming for no reason. So, but other than that, I, I, I put that aside. I, that's one of those things. It's like people going to Camp Crystal Lake 30 times, even after every year there's a mass murder there. 
I let it go. I let it slide, all right? After a while, you're like, we need to stay the fuck away from the camp. But they don't. They keep going back. But if they didn't go back, we wouldn't have the movie. So I will forgive the ridiculous found footage conceit with the paranormal activity. However, um, that being said, I feel like this movie, there's nothing new to it. And the fact that like every paranormal activity movie that I've seen, this ends on a down note. Like, no one wins. Toby wins. Katie wins. So I just feel like the last scene that you see in a trailer of the little girl, like she walks up in her, in her wall, you just see like this tunnel. Like, I guess it's going to the ghost dimension. That's the final scene in your movie. Like, it has to be. I don't picture, like, you know, one of the parents running their station the kid, like, oh shit, let's run the safety now. Movie ends. No. It, it, Bagul, or Bagul. Toby, he's very much Bagul. The goal's better. Uh, Toby wins. I mean, that's just how your movie's going to end. I feel like it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Still want to see it. Uh, <coughs> but, yeah, I feel like it is pretty predictable at this point. So I feel like this movie's going to have a lot more jump scares in it. Because the last movies all rely on, like, just shit kind of. I mean, they had jump scares, but it was more. The jump scares were provided by people. Like, you would have the camera and be like, I'm over here. No! Oh, you scared me. Whereas this one, I mean, they're literally just showing ghosts jumping at the camera. Like, not jumping people, they're jumping the camera. Like, that's, literally, that's what you're getting. So, it's like playing a video game or something. So. Yep. The ghost dimension. Yeah. And what else came out this weekend? Jim, the hologram. Jim and the holograms. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. So, Jim and the hologram is about this girl. She's, she sings, but she doesn't like being in front of the camera. Mm. So, her sister... Decides to film her and put post up on on YouTube and she gets a bunch of freaking views and stuff and then she gets a recording uh, contract contract and she ends up being they end up being Jim and the hologram and yeah that's about it. That, that pretty much is it. That sums up the entire movie really. Yeah, and it has um. Molly. Molly. Ringwald. Mo Molly Ringwald. I had the whole name for you. Oh my god. Well, I couldn't. Re I knew who she was, but I couldn't, re couldn't recognize her because she has blonde hair in this one. And it's short. Mm. So, yeah. Ah, I, I like both these movies. So I would recommend them. Well, you have the trailer. You haven't seen. Yeah, them, I yeah. recommend both of them. Both are I mean, I'm a, awesome. I'm a guy, so I'm, I'm not a lie. Jim and the holograms have nothing for me. And, like, I just love, like, the first piece of text that you see on the movie trailer is from the studio that brought you pitch perfect. I'm like, yep, fucking done already. Fucking done. I'm just walking away. Uh, I like Juliette Lewis, though. She's, like, the manager that signs them. Uh, I'm a big fan of hers. Kind of glad to see her back, sort of, in the spotlight. You know, this movie, this movie looks very, like, limited release. Like, I don't think it's limited release, but this has, like, a... Like, have you, have you seen commercials for it or anything yeah. on TV? Have you? Yeah. Okay. I was like, I haven't, like, really heard much about it at all. It just seems like it's just kind of coming quietly. Uh, but, see, I, I didn't watch a cartoon back in the day, so I just, I wasn't a fan going into this. Uh, but this seems like typically movies that are based on old 80s cartoons don't normally do that well. So, typically. There are the exceptions, but I just feel like this one ain't going to do shit. Like, this one just kind of, this, this will come and go. This will be a, this will be a passing pad. Which, I mean, I'm sure Ghost Dimension ain't going to leave, like, a legendary mark either, but I would much rather, if, if I had to spend my seven fifty or however, however you know, much tickets are nowadays, I would much rather watch the Ghost Dimension over, I'd recommend that one. I wouldn't waste your time with Jim and the Holograms. If you're a girl. The whole trailer well, if you're is, girl. the movie's in the trailer. Okay. Reluctant Singer, all right. Her sister uploads a video, she becomes a star, she brings the whole group with them, and then the contra or the studio is just like, you should really go off on your own. So then she goes off on her own, her, her and her family have a tiff, and then she ends up like getting them back together, and then she's like, no, I'm Jim, and I'm going to do what I want to do. And then she gets the family back together, and the band's all happy again, happy ending. That's it. That's your movie. Oh, that's yeah. fucking complex. Uh, I'm sure it's awesome. Yeah. So that's it. Till tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Uh, my Pearl Reviews. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to be on that, ain't I? Yeah. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow.